Hey, and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to look at another Dynamo script, which is going to cover creating levels. Sounds pretty simple, but I think you might like it. So before we get into it, if at any point in this video you happen to learn something, please, please like, please like the video. Demolish that like button really helps me out a lot. Also, leave me a comment below if you have any questions about the script or anything else that we might cover. And consider subscribing. Really, really helps. Okay, getting into it now. We have a script, and it's going to make levels create new levels and so this is obviously something you would do more towards the beginning of the project because you need to create levels by default your project has two probably maybe even more depending on the template you use and whatnot but in this case i'm using the out of the box template for revit 2022 definitely want to note that this script is meant for 2022 i you could try it in 20 and 21 but you may not have the results that we achieve in this video so definitely I would try and use it in 22 if you can, but we'll go from there. So again, I'm in Revit 2022, and I'm just going to show you the script first, and then we can run through it and see what's going on. So there's a couple steps, and at the beginning of every script, I always like to bake in, like, an, are you ready to proceed? Are you ready to start? And depending on the type of inputs that this particular script requires, it might end up airing out, but we don't care about that at all because the whole point is that it will get us to the actual inputs that we need. And so you can always, if you're a little more advanced in Dynamo Player and you know what to do, you can always hit this Edit Inputs button. It will take you right there. But the point is I make these scripts in a way to where any user who doesn't know what they're doing can open the Dynamo Player, press Play, and then be prompted with the, the inputs that we need. Now, these don't necessarily matter right now because, it, again, it will error out. So I'm just going to close these, and I'll go over through over those in just a second. So, yeah, it aired out. Not a huge deal nothing happened and that's the main thing we we need to know that nothing happened we can see that no script was run because we can look at the top here and see no script was run you'll see dynamo script and a bunch of numbers letters or whatever um, but so okay here we are let's go through all this there's a lot of inputs but i'll make this make sense for you so ready to proceed yeah we're ready you know we are <laughs> we're just we've decided to do this and again i make the scripts in a way to where if you fill out all this information but ready to proceed is false it will just not run it'll error you won't get any results and that's it's basically a fail safe so again we're ready to go now enter the number of new levels well you know how about four levels i know this is just a house but for this example let's go ahead and do four and then we've got enter distance between levels does not matter obviously don't put zero you're, you're asking for trouble so let's do 15 and this is in feet um, first new level number now this is the main thing now we need to decide, you know, where we're at, and so we can see that, you know, this project has level one, level two, and roof line. So because I don't care about the roof line and the fact that this is only two levels and this or that, I'm going to say I want my first new level number to be three. You know, that makes sense. Now here's where the cool stuff comes into play. I'll expand this out, and we can see everything here. So this is where the cool stuff is. Now I have these on by default because in general this would be nice to have. So here we go, create associated floor plan. So basically, do you want a floor plan that is associated to that floor, that level that you've made? And then also, do you want a ceiling plan? Okay, yeah. And then the other couple things, is this a building story and is this structural? These are just basic instance parameters that you would find within any level that you see. So clicking on level one, I could see, yeah, it's a building story. And then it's structural. Well, it's not structural, but it might, should be structural thing, you know. It's up to you, whatever, things like that. But I like these to kind of go ahead and be there by default just because it's something you might want to track in a level schedule, things like that. And so ultimately what we'll get out is the levels that we actually create and then the, the floor plans and the RCPs that were created with that level. So really cool stuff. And so let's go ahead and see this run. So I'm good to go here. So what is this going to do? It's going to make four levels that are 15 feet apart, starting with number three. So I'm expecting, uh, because I'm starting with three, like three, four, five, six, like that, that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and get going here. And so not only that, but I have baked in the fact that we can apply view templates to not only your floor plans, but also your RCPs. And basically, this is giving you a really good head start on how to uh, basically the documentation of creating new levels like ultimately you're going to have to document that level to some degree and by that I mean there's probably a plan a floor plan and then there might or probably be an RCP and so it's good to have those 
when you make the level because they're already there reference ready to go and these are going to be named correctly and everything so these are just going to pull the plan the different types of plan templates the view templates that you have in your project and then these will will pull the rcp templates that you have in this case i only have one here um, but for this it, this is obviously not a site plan so i probably want to call this architectural plan and this is not just me calling it that this is referencing the view template so the view template architectural plan is going to be applied to all the new floor plans and then the architectural reflected ceiling plan view template will be applied to all the new rcps that are made based on these new levels and so all i have to do at that point is set values and then once i set the values we will we should get the result we would like so we set the values this is a big thing to keep in mind so i specifically left this up because i i want to run this by you would you like to rename corresponding level and views now we have talked about these types of pop-ups in previous videos but i would recommend that especially for this this is different um checking this do not show me this again is very very powerful because it ends up being per user especially <laughs> uh, it ends up being per user of course but beyond that you would have to open another revit session like close this down and open again for it to even begin to ask you this again but if you if you do check this it just won't ask you again which is is a little dangerous and why is, why is this dangerous well if i check do not show me this message again and i click yes that means the name of all of these levels you know level the new ones we're making level three level four level five level six will be named based on the views that we are creating and so i've created these views we, we were creating these views in the script along with these levels and these views are not just called level four or level five they're called you know level four floor plan level four rcp things like that and so in this case we definitely want to hit no of course i would i would probably not do not show me this i would probably leave this unchecked just so you can make sure that you're going to click no and this this applies to like attaching walls um, i always would click no and then it's kind of up to you to whether or not you want to have it not show you show you again the only real part about this that you can you know find yourself in a, a bad place is if you do check this and click yes that means it's never going to show it again and every time you make a floor plan view associated to a, a, a level it's going to rename the level which that would be terrible to deal with so i'm going to just leave this unchecked click no and then we're going to be done and you can see my levels popped up in the back which is awesome um, you can see the run completed here which is great and here we go let's look at these levels so we can see 15 feet above level two is level three and that's of course 15 and we that 15 continues at level three four five six cool stuff and then we can see over here looking at the left i see level three floor plan four five and six floor plan cool let's expand these ceiling plans and i can see look level three rcp level four five six. this is great and not only when i click on this but i can see here that it has that view template applied which is fantastic it's all you know all the properties with the view template is now applied and also i can see with this view template there are four assigned views in this case i just happened to have made four and had none associated to it in the beginning so very nice stuff the uh, two things i want to point out with the script that you need to be aware of is that obviously the the view ex or the extents of the level are going to be default and i'm not quite sure what the length and width of this is but it's a box it's not like accounting for my building or anything like that it would take a number more steps to account for that but you can see here like the levels that I have in the project already are just are actually covering my whole site and you'd want to you know push and pull these so they cover your full building because if you look at a floor plan that's over here you won't see those levels cut which is kind of the point obviously if you were to have you know, 3d content that you want to see at these level lines and besides that I will say I had a roof line a level that I really don't need in this project so I got rid of it um, but just know that this script is going to place the next level or basically the first level that it makes above the highest level that you have in your project so you might have four levels above the actual top level and it will add that to the top level that you have it's not going to use level two three or four or whatever and start from there it's going to actually say well what number basically i told it to start at level three which the name of you know the third level whatever that doesn't necessarily uh, matter where the elevation is but i chose level three because obviously it would be above level two but just know that it's it's going to use the level in which it is the highest so i might have level two and then roof line 
it's going to go 15 feet above that roof line. So I initially, I ended up getting rid of the roof line because I don't need the roof line and I want to make levels above level two that are consistent. So just be aware of that. Um, get rid of levels that are above, you know, the top actual level that you want to add levels to using the script. And I say that just because this is probably something you want to do more toward the beginning of the project. And I will say, you know, there, you can't really have too many levels, you know, in the beginning as a template or something like that. So let's go ahead. Let's actually go ahead and undo this. And I will just to show you that this will work with even more levels beyond 10, things like that. So let's go ahead and here say number of new levels. Let's do 16 new levels and let's actually go 14 feet between the levels. And again, I'm going to choose level three. So basically uh, the first new level number will be three. And so it's going to go from level two up 14 feet to level three. And so I'm good here. I will go ahead and run this guy. Of course, I need to pick my templates again. Architectural plan is good. And then my only RCP. Of course, I don't want to, <laughs> I do not want to rename anything like that. I want the script to do it. And with that, we get running completed. Good to see. And then we can see I've got all of my levels up here all the way because I added 16 levels. I get to 18. Very cool. And not only that, I see all my new floor plans, all of which have that view template applied. Same with the RCPs expanding this. I see all of my RCPs, which is really great. And so the reason I say this is, you know, something you want to do more towards the beginning is because it will go from the top level that you have. And currently in, well, in most of your templates, you're probably going to just start with like a level one, level two, or however many levels you may or may not have a roof, but if you have a roof just out of the box, get rid of that make your levels and then make your roof, things like that. So there's things to adjust for. Now, the final thing I want to do is show you what this script can or really looks like. There's nothing that you really need to worry about other than the packages. And I'll make sure to include those packages in the description below and in the download link, you will see all those. But I just want to run through you like the big points of what these, this part of the script is doing. I'm not, this is not like a how to build the script video by any means, but it's let's look at the script. I've organized, I make sure to organize all my scripts in a way to where it's easy to understand what's going on in different sections with groups, things like that. So my hope is that this will be just a general understanding of you can see what's going on. And so if you want to get into Dynamo, which I'd recommend, you can follow along with these scripts and see, okay, yeah, this is, you know, where he's coming from. This is how things can work together. So I'm basically getting new elevations and new level names and then getting all my templates. So basically I'm getting all the information I need. Um, that's all coming together to make my new floor plan or to apply my new floor plan templates to those views, to apply those RCP view templates to those views, and then ultimately to create my views, RCPs, and create my floor plans right here. Um, down here is just the very simple, is this going to be a, a new level building story or is this le new level going to be a building story or structural? I have them set to both default, yes. And then finally, we ultimately select our view templates with the data shapes package, which is awesome. And then ultimately, finally, we are applying those views uh, to the, applying those templates to the views that we have decided, which is really great. It, it's very simple stuff uh, when you break it down this way. And so if you want to know how this is built, you can really get in there, see everything, I have things organized in such a way to where you can see, and obviously, you know, if they're renamed, which is nice in 2022, at least you can see if they're renamed, um, which is helpful. that will tell you kind of what it was originally. There's, that was just a basic number, of course. So things like that. You can also right click these and see if this is an input. Uh, obviously this is, this is my ready to proceed. That is default to false things like that. So cool stuff. Um, again, I will leave this in the description below a link to download to it and along with the packages that you'll need. So, Please let me know if you have any comments on, on this script, anything like that, or any script that you'd like to see, any little kind of niche things that you want to automate. I'm happy to throw it together. It'd be kind of fun. And really, that will do it. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you haven't learned something, please, please demolish that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And, and with that, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Thank you very, very much for watching.